okay, this is a math question you might see on the exam. This is what we call the pip sandwich. So I'll go over it with you. In essence, what this question is really concerning is really determining how to determine how much interest will be paid when you make a mortgage payment. So let's take a look here. We have a, we have a person who took out a loan. The loan is for $72,000. That is the loan amount. The terms are for 30 years. And the interest rate is 9.5% interest. They're telling us the monthly payment, so every month, our PI, our principal and interest, will be $605.42. And the first question, so I'll put a one here, so this is the first question we're going to have to worry about. First question. It is asking us what will be the amount of interest that would be paid in the third month. In the third month, how much interest will be paid? So that is our first question. Our second question is what is the amount that will be paid for the principal and the third month? Again, third month. Principal payment. So I make a payment of $605.42. How much of that money will go towards my principal on the third month? And also, lastly, we have the third question. The third question asks, what will be the balance that will be due? So we're looking at the balance after, again, the third month payment is made. So as you can see, these are three questions that will be asked to answer in this particular. So here I have the formula for you. It's balance times weight divided by 12. What are, why are we dividing by 12? So this is how we figure out the balance, uh, the interest rate. So we have a loan for $72,000. So we're gonna put our balance here, 72,000. We're making a payment of $6.05, I'm not sorry, $605.42. $5.32. So this is our payment. This payment is continuous, so that will not change. Because now put throughout the whole thing. Because it will not change theoretically. 605.42. Now the question they're really asking, since we're all in the third month, so we said of interest, how much is the interest? in the third month. So we know our first question is gonna be here. That's our first answer. Second one is the principal. How much goes towards the, the principal in the third month? So this is principal, this is question number two, that's where our answer is gonna be. And then the balance after the third month, this is where the balance after the third month. So this is question and answer number three gonna be here. These represent month, each month. Here, we have a person who took out a loan for 72 months, $72,000. They're paying that over a period of 30 years. Understood? So 30 years, how many months is that? 30 times 12 is 360. 360 months. That's how many payments they're going to make. The interest rate we know is 9.5%. Or you can also write that as 0 0.095 if you're not using the percentage sign. So that's, in essence, we have all the information we need here. 
So let's see how we do it. Well, you all gonna be my calculator, right, sir? Yeah. Good, thank you. So here we go. We make a payment of $605.42 on the first month. We need to figure out how much of that money goes towards your interest and how much of it goes towards your principal. Understood? That's what they're asking. So the formula to use is balance times rate divided by 12. Why are we dividing by 12? Because we're dividing by 12 so we can find each month. That will give you the annual balance, uh, the APR. You need to figure out the monthly interest. Here we go. So, sir, we ready? Yep. We're gonna take 72,000. 72,000, I'm doing this two ways for you. So you can see. So 70, for those who, who, who probably this is, who are more linear, you'll see it. 72,000 multiplied by 0 0.095, and then you divide that by 12. How much is that, sir? 570. $570 yes. even? Thank even. you so much. $570 even. So if I made a payment of 605, so I'm gonna put here, my interest is going to be $570. If I make a payment for 605, and that's 605.42, $570 of that money goes towards my interest, I'm gonna subtract that, 570. What's the answer, sir? 35.42. 35.42, thank you, he didn't even do the math. He knows it. So, if 570 goes towards my interest, therefore the remainder, you say 35? 35.42. Thank you, sir. 35.42, so 35.32 would go towards my principal. The principal is the loan amount. You're trying to kill the loan, right? So here, if I made this payment, this much goes towards interest, so the balance, so you're gonna subtract this from this, that gives you $35.42. Now you gotta take the balance we started off with, that's the balance, $72,000 minus $35.42. That gives me $71,964.58. So here, thank you so much, I appreciate you. Sure. So the balance here is going to be $71,964.58. Now that's my new balance. I'm going to carry this new balance over here. $71,964.58. Same thing again. This, I've already had my months identified for you. So my second month, I'm starting off with balance, which is $71,964.58. And now in the 64.58, multiply that by 0 0.95, divide by 12, because there are 12 months in the year. So what's the next answer, sir? The next answer, the interest paid will be $569 with 72 cents around the two, because it was 719. Thank you, sir. 572 cents and uh, 569 dollars and 72 cents. Yeah. Thank you so much. So here I plug that in here. So I know for the second month, my, my interest is going to be $569.72. So if I pay $605.42, And $569 of that goes towards my interest. How much of it goes towards my principal? So I'm going to subtract 
this from that, that's going to be how much goes towards my uh, interest. 35.70. You said 35.70? Yeah. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you. Uh, now, principal, that would be 35.7. Again, all you're doing is subtracting this from that to give you this. Then you're going to subtract this from this from the balance. So the next step is my last balance was 71,964. 58 minus $35.70 equals that would be 71 71 928 928 thank you sir point 0.88 okay point 0.88 thank you All right. so here the answer would be 71, 928.88. Numbers look good to me so far. I appreciate you, sir. Say, so now I'm going to take the, the balance carried over here. That would be $71,928.88. I do the same process again. So I'm in month three now. So we headed towards your answers. So month three, I'm going to take $71,928.88. I'm going to multiply that by 0 0.095. That's my 9.5% nine, that's my interest. And I'm going to divide that by 12. That would give me oh, divided by twelve. Correct, sir. Okay, five hundred sixty-nine point forty-four. Five hundred sixty-nine point forty-four. Uh, I'm rounding the third uh, digit. It's okay. Uh, that's fine. Thank you so much. So five. So that's our first answer. Let's see, we go, okay, that's our first answer. I don't know if it's correct yet, we'll verify that in a minute. So, now I'm going to take 569.44 and I'm going to subtract it from $605.42. And that would give me my second answer. Which is 35.98. Which is $35.98. Thank you so much, sir. Sure. So I, I took I'm going to take my 605.42 minus 569.44 equals, so here that was 569.44. This is 35. $35.98. And of course, I'm going to take the balance, subtract $35.98 from it. The balance is $71,928.88 minus $35.98. Okay, I think it's a minus, uh, let's see, 71, 7198. Okay, yeah. Minus 35.98. It would be 71,892. 71,892.90. 0.90. Thank you so much, sir. Please give this gentleman a round of applause. For him that you. Thank you, I appreciate you. So, now, that's both ways because some people often get confused here. Okay? You took out a loan, you know you're making a payment for five, five, $605.42. They're asking you how much of that money goes towards your interest. 
you gotta figure it out. The balance times rate, so the balance, $72,000, multiply by 0.095, which is 9.5%. That gives you the annual APR, but you need the monthly APR. You are gonna divide by 12. By dividing by 12, it gives you how much of that money of your payment goes towards your principal. I'm sorry, towards your interest. From there, well, you need to figure out how much of that payment is going towards your principal to kill down this loan you took. Well, $35.42 is what would go towards the paying debt. So your first month, you're actually paying $35.42 off that loan amount. And then you can see over time how your interest is going down and your principal portion is going up, which means by the time you get to, let's say we go around the room a couple of times, by the time you come around, you had 360, 360 months, because this loan is for 30 years. 30 years times 12, that's 360. So you're making 360 payments times $605,042. And by the time you get towards the end, what will you have? You will have almost, whatever you're gonna pay, almost zero here, and most of that 605 will go towards your principal. Okay, that said, trust but verify. Let's see how we did. Uh, <clears throat> we're not gonna take the applause back. You did a wonderful job, sir. So let's see how it went. There you go. Let's take a look. Is that correct? Yep. That's exactly what we did. Let's take a look here. You can see our answers are exactly on the money. 